G'day folks, welcome back. Today's just going to be a simple video. We're just taking a walk down here at Lakeside on this beautiful lake down here. It's about a one and a half kilometer walk all the way around. It's got some beautiful paths. You can have a run if you want, just walk. Plenty of wildlife, enjoy the birds and everything, Ira. It's just beautiful. Yeah, a beautiful place. You can walk and you can drop your air plugs <laughs> in the water like I did before. Yeah, yeah. But we retrieved them, so we'll stick them in some rice and hopefully they'll work. But after that, we're going to take a little, little bit of a look and see where the magic happens in our studio at home, where we do a bit of our still life photography, or Ira does anyway, and some of her magical portrait work. Alright, so let's go and have a look at Lakeside here and then on to our studio. I don't think it's too happy, it's having a bit of a hiss. Hey, Mr. Swan? <laughs> yes, yeah, so some of the birds, wildlife we've got here at the lake. You can see that. We've got the Pacific black duck, Eurasian coot, many, the purple swamp hen. There's plenty of those around which you uh, which you can see and they're everywhere. They're, they're quite all right. They, they don't mind getting close. Got the wood duck, the Australasian grebe, and the Pacific heron. So yeah, just a little, a little note. The male ducks they're called drakes. The female ducks are called hens, and of course the baby ducks are called ducklings. So here we've even got a family, and the little ones. Oh, just so adorable! Look at that. Look at them. Aren't they just so cute? <laughs> oh, they're gone. They saw us. Yeah, so it's a beautiful place. Just bring the family, take a walk. It's a it's a great walk around the lake, and you've and you've got uh, the playgrounds for the kids. Pretty big, a little bit where they can kick a ball, and of course another playground. But yeah, it's a beautiful spot. People come here and exercise, you know, any time of the day. But uh, it's just gorgeous place here. It's all flat, and uh, the path's really good to walk on. There's Ira up there having a bit of a looking at the birds, taking a walk as well. Yeah, so look at that. There's the mother and the, and the little ones just down there being protected in some of the reeds. Away from everyone, but uh, even teaching them how to, how to build pretty cool pretty cool to see the wildlife and, and nature down here we'll have a look at this I don't know duck bird that's just one crazy colored bird I'm not sure what that one is but that's interesting look at the colors on it Only a mother could love this one, eh? <laughs> pretty cool, pretty cool. Look. <laughs> He's happy.
here we are, we're at the studio. Nice and quaint. This is where all the magic happens. Inside here, we'll take a look around. So you've got the outside bit here. So you can sit out there, get the model to take the picture over the balcony, if need be. And uh, yeah, so we've got the double doors there. We'll open them up and show you in a minute. So that's quite nice. Ira's even painted the doors. Got the cat, the birds. Oh, look at that. I think we've got a model. Juna, you come to be a model? Meow. All right, so we're in the studio. Let's take a look on your studio, young Ira. Come on in. Oh, so this is it. It's only a little studio, but it's quite good. It's quite good. Yeah, so we've got all the different uh, background textures here. As you can see, all the different colors. We've got some blues and some even different colors there with a bit of purple and gorgeous color. But yeah, we usually can sit, uh, you know, the model I'll sit in the chair. Got this beautiful light coming through the window, and that's all the natural light that sort of Ira works through. So yeah, it's, there's plenty of light in here. Um, we've left the ceiling, as you can see, it's like the silver foil, so that, that allows to reflect in a little bit of light as well. And if so, we can, we can darken off the... Uh, we can darken off a little bit with putting a, the black reflector on top of the roof. Yeah, so like that, so we can just stick that up there and that'll sort of cut out some of that light. But we've got the beautiful window lights. We've got the window lights here on the front, on the side. And of course, we've got a little bit of, there we are, the light coming through the roof. So we've got all this set up here. So that's great. Any position and uh, any position, you can get a beautiful portrait. You get a beautiful light. And of course, just sitting there, and the light just hits you beautiful. Just nice, soft light, nice and diffused. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, the light's hitting me rather softly through there. Can even stick another little bit of diffusion on there to cut the light out a little bit. But it looks quite good, and this is just, you know, recording off my phone, so for the video. But she's got her beautiful Fuji X-T20, which does the job perfect. And if you want to check out some of her photos, the link's in the description to her uh, to uh, her Instagram, or she'll give you a, a few more tips on that, on the, uh, her portrait work, which is absolutely magnificent. The art portrait work that Ira does is spectacular. So if you're looking for someone who, uh, who you want to get your art portrait done, then she's the girl. She'll also do walkabout on the street in the city, so she can do some of that type of photography as well. And also we do the uh, a bit of the still life in here, so we'll have a little look at that little bit of a setup, a few different sets up there. But uh, as I said, again, with the natural light coming through, it's beautiful, soft, and it's just gorgeous. Let's have a little look. Yeah, so for like a little bit of a still life setup, this is just one little quick one I put together. And as you can see, we've got the textured boards, which we make, Ira make. So got a few different colors there. We've got this one, another texture color here on the back of the boards. We've got them on either side. So that's pretty good. And uh, yeah, so you can sort of see there. Look at that. That's just that beautiful natural light. So this is my setup. I got my A7R3, beautiful Sony, and I've got the 90 mil macro lens on there. So that's a, a uh, an absolutely magnificent setup, the Sony, as I said. Ira uses her Fuji, and that is also gorgeous. So that just brings out the colors Oh, just so vibrant and so beautiful. So yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can use anything for still life photography, folks. You know, you can use an old book there. It's got, look at that texture, detail, beautiful. You can use that and you can just mix and match anything you like. You can get onto the reflection balls. That's all right. Or the, look at that, the mirror. You can even see me in there. So you can use lots of things. Got the old little flowers there, simple, in a jar. 
You can use an old flower off a tree that's dried out. Look at that. See, even that just looks glorious. It's just a matter of how you put it all together, all the composition. Got some of those which are pretty good. They just fall off the pine cones, which fall off the trees. You can pick up, you can grab some bird feathers and uh, you can get some of the dry leaf, even from off the side of the road, and they last for a long time. But it's just a matter of how you put everything together, all the composition and everything, still life. You can just, the world's your oyster. You can do whatever you like. Yeah, so another good one for still life, which you can do, which you get this thin sheet of glass and then you get your spray bottle, spray some water, and it sort of gives that effect of the raining outside. Just like that. So that's another way you can do a little bit of still life inside, folks. And uh, a little bit creative, so that's pretty good. Yeah, so there's plenty of plenty of ways you can do it, and especially when you've got the uh, when I was got the models in here, got all this beautiful material. You can use that as like a drape over or something, and that really kicks out the colours and everything for the uh, the artistic photo shoot that Ira does in here. And they're absolutely magnificent. You definitely want to give uh, those a check out. So uh, yeah, but that's a little a little bit of a rundown of our studio here. That's just an, a small, cosy, beautiful little studio. And uh, it's good to be in here, so plenty of things you can do. And I thought it was good to give you a bit of a look. So yeah, just a bit of storage there where we keep all our things out of the way for the proper shoot. So that's pretty good. As I said, you've got, we've got a, quite a few backdrops, so you get a, a nice variety on the backdrop of, uh, of the portrait. And of course, you've got the beautiful soft light coming in here. Got the beautiful double doors, so they can open out as well. So we can get more room so we can sort of step back there and get that bit of a longer that longer shot but yeah that's just a little bit of a rundown of our studio here so i hope you enjoyed that little tour today folks of down there at lakeside down there on the lake beautiful little walk around and of course coming back here to have a look at our gorgeous little cozy studio so yeah they, these doors open out open that wide so if you want to get a, a bit tire, longer shot there we go look at that check that out you get all the room that you need so it might be small and cozy but yeah you can work around it so it's a uh, nice and big there we are so that's our studio anyway folks I hope you if you've enjoyed this and you're here right to the end we appreciate that that's just absolutely fantastic and we appreciate it so if you enjoyed, as I said, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe, ring that bell, ring a ding ding, so you know when we get to drop a, another content video for you and have a bit of fun sharing it with you as well. All right, until next time, ciao for now, and we'll see you in the next video.